Brown. They met with Secretary Blinken. Can you share some details about that meeting? Uh, I don't have any specific readout other than that, as you know, he was in um, uh, in Washington to meet with a number of officials, including officials here at the State Department, uh, including officials at, at the Pentagon and elsewhere. Pakistan is a major uh, non-NATO ally of the United States uh, and a NATO partner. Um, we look forward to um, uh, partnering with them on regional security and defense cooperation, and that's the what was the substance of the meetings last so week. The Pakistani Army chief is at the center of criticism for the for his involvement in politics. So you always talk about democratic values and freedom of speech. What are you going to say about those who are trying to disrupt the political system of Pakistan? So we continue to support free, fair elections in Pakistan. Um, that is the, um, uh, and engage with Pakistan on a bilateral basis um, to discuss our support for free and fair elections. As I've said before, we don't take uh, a position uh, as it comes to when it comes to political parties in Pakistan, and we will engage with um, the leaders that the Pakistani people select. Oh, Go no, ahead. Please. Go ahead. No, no, no stop. I, I'm going to work What's my way around. Free and fair elections? Did I miss a statement congratulating uh, El Sisi on his uh, on his uh, victory in Egypt? There has not been one yet. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you find one? All right, there hasn't been one yet. Thank you. Um, on the intent of Israelis to minimize uh, civilian casualties. Um, a few days ago, uh, a mother and a daughter were sheltering inside Gaza's only Catholic church, and they were and they died. And also, three uh, Israeli hostages were killed, even though they were shirtless, and they were waving like um, a white cloth. How is it possible that this is like mistakenly shot, even though they were like just holding uh, white cloth? So I will say, with respect to um, the death of those three hostages, obviously it's a tragic incident. Um, extremely unfortunate, as it is tragic when any civilian is killed. Uh, and I will say we noted the comments by the Israeli defense chief who came out and reiterated after that shooting that he fully expects everyone in the Israeli military to, um, uh, to act within the rules of engagement. He said that those shootings were outside of the Israeli rules of engagement. And that goes to the point I was making a moment ago about what we expect from a professional military in, in a democracy, which is when there are actions that are inappropriate, that violate the, the rules, that violate the laws of war, that those militaries take actions to investigate them and actions that yeah, are appropriate to hold, many to, to, hold, to, hold, to hold people accountable. Go ahead. Yeah, but there are too many actions lately. Like, why did they bomb a church, a Catholic church? Why would they target a Catholic church? So, where, to, where, to where the mother and the daughter were killed. So I will say, as always, it's very, it's very tough to, for me to speak to specific incidents and, uh, when, when oftentimes there will be uh, disputed facts, facts. We did see those reports. Uh, we were quite concerned by them. We've been uh, raising those concerns directly with the Israeli government. One of the things that we have um, uh, advocated from the beginning of this conflict is deconfliction sites to ensure that uh, schools and churches and hospitals are not attacked. And when we have concerns, we will continue to raise them with the Israeli government. And do you have one more, and then I'll go. Yeah, I'll and go. do you have any update on the situation on the border of Lebanon, the escalation? I, I don't, other than that, it continues to be a priority for us to ensure that this conflict does not widen. Go ahead. Uh, I'll come to you next, Alex. Yeah, go ahead. 